From the time that I was very small, I was taught that life is more than acquiring things. Life is a matter of contributing something. And that has been the reason for my career in public life. Many consider him the father of the modern Missouri Republican Party, a career that began in 1968 as Missouri's Attorney General, the first Republican elected to statewide office in more than two decades, revitalizing the grand old party and launching a new generation of conservative leaders, Kit Bond and John Ashcroft, and laying the groundwork for today's Republican Party, serving his country and state for more than 40 years. John C. Danforth was born with leadership in his blood, the son of a great Missouri family with roots that reach back five generations, stretching from the boot heel to the state's largest metropolitan area. He attended high school at St. Louis Country Day, went on to Princeton University, then Yale Law and Divinity Schools, became a lawyer and was ordained an Episcopalian minister. Jack entered politics for the right reasons, a sense of duty, a call to service, a desire to give back to the community, state, and nation he loved. Reflecting a few moments ago, about uh, 20 years ago, in 1968, when Jack Danforth uh, filed for office as a Republican, some people smiled, some people smirked, and some people said, isn't that nice? But we're going to have another Republican sacrificial lamb. But a sacrificial lamb, he was not. Jack won in 1968 and served two terms as Attorney General, fueling a resurgence of the Republican Party in Missouri. In 1976, Jack was elected to the United States Senate, even as others of his party faced difficult political environments in the wake of the Watergate scandal. Principled and effective, he would leave a lasting mark on our state and our nation. He fought for free and fair international trade, civil rights, tax credits to spur innovation and job creation, and a conservative judicial system that interpreted the law instead of creating it. I do believe these things. I believe them with a passion, and that is why I am announcing today that I am running for re-election to the United States Senate. In putting together his 1988 campaign team, Jack turned to one of the most prominent media consultants of his time, the man who orchestrated Ronald Reagan's landslide victory and eventually created Fox News, Roger Ailes. He's been called the watchdog of U.S. trade and Mr. Trade in the Senate. Jack Danforth has earned this reputation fighting for Missouri jobs. Danforth's aggressive efforts ensured a vital $40 million market for Missouri soybeans abroad, boosted foreign sales for Missouri's critical $22 billion aerospace industry, and helped push Missouri beef in Japan, Korea, and Europe. Today, Jack Danforth is a leader in Congress on the most important trade bill in U.S. history. Jack Danforth, the future of Missouri in the hands of experience. Jack Danforth's margin of victory was historic, and the 1988 election would be his last. Upon his retirement from the Senate in 1994, Jack's commitment to public service did not waver. He focused on reviving the St. Louis region, just as he had revived the Missouri Republican Party. He brought his talents to the international stage at a time of turmoil, appointed the United States Ambassador to the United Nations, tirelessly working for those less fortunate in a stronger America. Never losing sight of the importance of his faith in God, he carried himself with dignity and conviction. And when the nation lost our beloved president, we turned to Jack Danforth for words of comfort and hope. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. It was his favorite theme from his first inaugural address to his final address from the Oval Office. For him, America was the shining city on a hill. A distinguished career of public service, lauded by those he served, and respected by some of the most powerful people in the world. Jack, congratulations on receiving the Spirit of Enterprise Award. I can think of no one more deserving of such an honor. Throughout your distinguished career, you've always embodied the spirit of service and statesmanship, and I'm happy to call you a friend. Missouri is blessed to have ahead a leader in Washington as honorable, effective, and compassionate as Jack Danforth. 
It's been said that he set a Missouri record for his margin of victory in the 1988 re-election, earning a 68% of the vote against a guy named Jay Nixon. Jack, if you're up for it, I understand you could have a rematch in 2012. During Jack's wide-ranging career, he supported policies that ultimately led to the fall of the Berlin Wall. He was a tireless advocate for the poor and hungry around the world, and he was lauded by his colleagues as a beacon of moral clarity. But perhaps his greatest achievement came in the early 1990s when he played a vital role in winning Senate confirmation for a young conservative who would change the composition of the United States Supreme Court forever, Clarence Thomas. Jack's efforts continue to leave an unmistakable imprint on our courts, our nation, and our world. For that, we owe him our heartfelt gratitude. Author, trailblazer, statesman, visionary. Missouri's own Jack Danforth, recipient of the 2009 Spirit of Enterprise Award.